when you're ready, come on over to your yoga mat. We're going to start laying down today. So getting cozy and grabbing any extra props that you might need as you get there. I'm just going to have my blanket under my head, just get a little cozier. You might lay in Shavasana with your arms and legs extended, or perhaps constructive rest pose with your feet standing up near the edges of your mat and then knees or thighs kind of resting together at the center. Just try to stay really present here with your experience. This might be the first time in your day that you're laying down. So just seeing seeing what unfolds just by having this different postural position. And then becoming more aware of your breath, deepening or slowing to a pace that feels sustainable for you, something steady and sweet. And if you'd like to set a dedication or intention for today's practice, feel free to bring that to mind now. What else is arising in your awareness? And let's take three clearing breaths here, inhaling through the nose and sighing out of the mouth. Feel free to make a little sound with it if you want. <sighs> eventually starting to wiggle your fingers and toes letting your head rock from side to side continuing to move a little bit here maybe reaching into a long body stretch <sighs> always makes me feel like yawning <laughs> Okay, and let's find our way to bridge pose. So we're bringing our feet down to the mat. If you have a pillow or anything underneath you, moving that to the side, grab a block or um, something with a little bit of height. We'll use that here in a second. So just make sure it's close by. Pressing the hands down, pressing the shoulder blades down. And then with an inhale, picking up your pelvis, reaching your hip points high, bridge pose. And exhale, lower back down, taking any little adjustments. Inhaling as you rise. Exhaling as you lower. A couple more times and see if you can get a sense of equalness or balance from the right foot to the left foot. Uh, when you're going up and down, just... See if you can keep that equal pressure. Next time you are lifted up into bridge pose, let's stay there. Tucking the chin a little bit more at the top. Take a couple of breaths. And when you're ready, sliding that block underneath the sacrum on the lowest setting to start with. And then setting the pelvis down or the, the sacrum there down on your block for supported bridge pose. Uh, you might have to move your block a couple times or um, as 
pose kind of unfolds a little bit. So just keep adjusting as you see fit. And then find a comfortable place for your arms to rest. Maybe your arms reach out wide. Maybe you uh, goal post the arms, bending your elbows and just kind of reaching wide through the collarbones. If there's any other hand or arm position that you'd like to take. You're more than welcome to. Let's get back to some deep breathing. Just some aware, some flowing breaths with as much awareness as we can. Just letting gravity and this prop do all of the work here. We are simply breathing. As this is supported bridge pose unfolds. If this doesn't quite seem like the right height, you could um, flip your block up to the next setting, but just make sure you're really centered on the block there so you don't kind of slip off of it. Three more breaths. And if your block was on a higher setting, bring it back down to the lowest setting. We're going to start to hug both knees in toward the chest. So um, I find that you really have to move your block <laughs> to the right spot. So just see what you can do here, bringing your knees in toward your chest and hoping that it's still comfortable for you to be up on this block. If it's too hard, you could bring a blanket or a pillow up over your block for support. And then one by one, we'll straighten each leg. You're welcome to hold on to your legs here to keep them lifted or bring your hands down to the floor. I almost think it's easier to push your hands down into the floor than it is to hold on to your legs. Just see what it's like here. We're doing a variation on legs up the wall with our phantom wall. <laughs> And you can start to circle your ankles in both directions, pointing and bending the ankles and toes, bending and straightening the knees a couple of times. This is really good for our circulation. And then taking some little circles with the legs, it's very small. You don't have to move too much on the block here. Just getting a little bit of movement going through the hips. Maybe bringing your legs out wide and then together again. And go ahead and bend your knees and lower both feet down to the floor. Pick up the pelvis just enough to slide that block out from underneath you and then lower back down. Hug your knees in toward your chest here and take some Free movement here as we rock and roll, a little bit of weight massaging pressure right on that spot that the block was under. Circling the knees or hanging. We will eventually make our way up to a seat, maybe rocking and rolling a couple of times up and down the spine or turning onto either side. And coming up through the fetal position. You might sit up on a block or bolster when you get to the top. Otherwise, we're just sitting up nice and tall, tenting the fingertips and lengthening upward through the spine and through the crown of your head. You might close your eyes here once you get settled, just so you can feel this alignment from an internal perspective. With an inhale, reaching both hands high, option to turn the gaze up as well. And exhale, lower hands down to heart center, tucking your chin. Inhale, hands go high. And exhale, lower your arms down and around. We're going to add on a little bit here. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, 
Cactus the arms, little back bend here. <sighs> Inhale, reaching high. Join palms. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Inhale, reaching high. And exhale, side bend to the right. Right arm lowers, left arm reaches. Staying on the side with an inhale, we're reaching up, unwinding just enough for a nice full breath in. And then exhale, bending back in to the, to the right side. Inhaling as we rise, exhaling as we bend. Let's go ahead and switch sides, inhaling to the top and exhaling side, bending to the left. We're flowing with it. We're inhaling as we rise up and exhaling as we side bend. One more time to the left side here, inhaling as you rise and exhale back. Come back up to the top and lower your arms down. We'll come to hands and knees next for cat and cow. With your inhale, cow pose. We're lowering the belly, lifting the tailbone, lifting the gaze. Exhale, cat pose, rounding up through the spine, tucking the chin and tailbone. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Keep flowing, following your own breath. Maybe letting your head kind of rock side to side, or maybe letting your kind of shift side to side. We'll thread the needle next. So coming back to tabletop, left hand will come just a little closer toward the center of the mat. With your inhale, reach your right arm high and exhale, thread the needle, right hips down and through, setting the right shoulder and right side of your head on the floor or blocks. Find a spot to support you with that left hand, maybe bringing the left hand to the top of your mat, maybe out toward the left side. Coming back to the breath again, and maybe even leaning slightly into that right shoulder, focusing on that right shoulder. Plant your left hand back up by your face, press your way up, reach your right arm high, and then lower the right arm down, switching sides. Left arm lifts, breathing in, and exhale, thread the needle. Left arm dips down and through, setting that left shoulder and side of your head on the floor for props. Maybe leaning into that left shoulder slightly more. When you're ready, right hand plants into the mat by your face. Press your way all the way up, reaching that left arm high. And lower your left arm down. Let's go ahead and lower to your stomach. Well, um, I think it's called like um, prone scorpion, I want to call it. Um, so we're going to reach our arms out wide. And start, well, actually, just the right arm will go out wide. Left hand will press into the mat next to your chest. And we're going to start to press the left hand into the floor as we turn onto the right side and reach that left foot up behind you. Reach that left foot in the direction of your right hand. <laughs> it always feels like it would look super cool, but anytime I look, <laughs> it doesn't quite look how it feels. <laughs> well, that's not the point. Never has to look a certain way. Then we're switching sides. We're just gonna go back and forth a couple of times. So this time, uh, back on the belly, left arm straightens, right hand presses into the mat, pressing onto that left side as you reach your right toes back in the direction of your left finger. Go ahead and do that a couple times at your own back and forth. If you find a really nice spot, maybe spending some extra time, maybe there's a way to add on to this in your own way.
This is another one that um, I know is recommended by physical therapists for lower back pain. Okay, and since we started reaching over to that right side, let's end with the left and then coming back to the center. Press your way up through tabletop and then back to any variation of child's pose that you'd like. You could bring the knees out wide and the big toes touching behind you, or your knees could be a little closer together. Sinking your arms, head, seat down toward the mat. Back into some diaphragmatic breath. Low and slow. <clears throat> With an inhale, let's rise back up to tabletop. And we'll find our way to our first downward facing dog, grabbing blocks if that's your style, curling your toes under and reaching the seat toward the sky. Make sure your hands, you don't look at your hands here, grip into your blocks or grip into the floor so all of your fingers are active. Then we're gonna turn the gaze kind of toward the kneecap. So the back of your neck feels nice and long. Breathe, inhale as you rise up to your tippy toes. And exhale, sinking your heels down toward the floor. Two more breaths, feel free to continue that lifting and lowering or find your own way, maybe bending and straightening opposite knees. Last breath in and last breath out. With your inhale, bend your knees and look up toward the top, but with your exhale, walk your hands toward the once you get to the back, let's bend the knees, tuck your chin toward your chest, and make your way up to stand. At the top, we'll just get a little shake out going on here. So whatever feels like moving or shaking first, we're getting that going. Maybe lifting and lowering the heels a couple of times. Maybe jumping. Giving everything a nice little shake. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Back of the mat. Take a look at your feet here. Let's rise on up to the tippy toes, reaching up through the crown of the head. Taking a breath here, let's inhale and reach the, or let's reach the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, lower your arms, lower your heels. We'll try that a couple more times. We're inhaling first, just lifting up to the tippy toes. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, reach arms high. And exhale, lower everything back down. Just one more like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, stay. Inhale, arms reach high. And exhale, lower your heels, lower your hands. Let's get a willow tree, willow tree going here a little bit. So maybe walking your feet out wider and letting your arms just gonna twist side to side. Maybe you wanna sway a little bit with it. Maybe you want to walk with it a little bit. Have we ever done that? Just taking a little step, step. It's kind of hard <laughs> to coordinate. Okay, coming back to the back edge of the mat here. Let's get into our flow with an inhale, reaching arms high. Exhale, open arm twist toward the right. Inhale, reaching high, unwind. Exhale, open arm twist toward the left. Inhale to the center. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, sliding hands up to the thighs. Exhale, walk your hands out to your blocks. High plank at the top. Big breath in. 
and exhale, knees lower, chest lowers. Inhale, baby cobra, reaching high through the head, through the chest, and exhale, lower back down. Two more like that. Inhale, baby cobra, and exhale, release. One last time, inhale as you rise. And exhale, child's pose, pressing your way up, the tabletop, and then back. Three big breaths in. And out. In. And out. Maybe one more breath. Why not? And then he'll rise up the tabletop, staying here for a second. We're going to curl the toes under and hover in bear pose. So uh, toes tuck under, the knees lift up. The shins are more or less parallel to the mat. Take a big breath in and exhale, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look up toward the top of your mat. Exhale and walk your hands to the back of your mat. Forward fold at the back. Inhale, frog pose. So we're bending the knees, looking up. Exhale, forward fold. One more like that. Inhale, frog, bending the knees, lifting the heels. Exhale forward fold. All right, inhale halfway, lift. Staying here for a breath out. Feel the back of your legs here. Inhale, reach your arms wide. We're hinging up through the hips here, joining hands overhead. Big exhale, bring hands down to heart center. Take a few breaths. Notice how things are going, what thoughts might be going through your mind, where your awareness is at. And a clearing breath now, inhaling through the nose. Sigh, let it go. Inhale, hands reach high. Exhale, baby back bend, goal post the arms, reach up through the chest. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open arm twist toward the right. Inhale, unwind, reaching high. Exhale, open arm twist toward the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Walking your hands out to your blocks. Take a big breath in and out. Knees lower, chest lowers. More baby cobras. I'm pressing the tops of the feet down, drawing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lifting your head and heart. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up. And this time with your exhale, press back to child's pose. Three nice big breaths. Inhale, rise up, tabletop, grabbing your blocks. Exhale, curl the toes under. Inhale, bear pose, we're hovering the knees. Exhale here. Let's see if we're gonna have two more breaths here in bear pose, inhale. And exhale, don't be afraid of that little wobble. Last breath in. And exhale, downward duck. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. Last breath in. And last breath out. With your inhale, lift your right toes high behind you. 
exhale, half pigeon. We're reaching the right knee up toward the right wrist and then setting the right knee down. Um, you could grab some extra props here. I'm gonna need my bolster, definitely my, my blocks, but essentially that right knee sets down by the right shoulder, or the right wrist rather. Take a look over your left shoulder. Make sure your left leg is more or less straight out from the hip behind you. We can use our blocks and walk ourselves up into a more upright position here and just notice how the left hip flexor, the front of that left hip um, is really getting stretched and opened here. So you're welcome to stay in the upright position, just kind of engage your glutes a little bit here so that your low back just feels nice and secure. You can even lift your hands up off of blocks and have this be like a strengthening. Um, strengthening at your end range is a really good way to help your mobility. But if you'd like, you can also lower your way forward, maybe thing. Uh, your forearms up on blocks, blankets, pillows. You also come up and sit on your bolster, putting something underneath um, your seat or that right hip. Maybe coming down to the forearms. Another fun variation I've discovered is just having a block underneath your head. Like um, for me, it's like the highest setting. I'm just kind of resting my forehead up on that block. We're gonna be here for about 10 more breaths. Trying to extend your exhale. Relaxing all the muscles of your face, unclenching your jaw. Just about three more breaths. Last breath here. And then starting to make your way more upright. If you have props underneath you, moving those to the side. Go ahead and sit down on your right glute. Bring that left leg up. Sounds like you're about to sit in a cross-legged position here. And then help that right knee and that right leg off to the right side. So we end up in a deer pose or that 90-90. The left shin is in front of us. That right shin is off to the side. And we're taking a twist to the left. So away from the legs, left hand can find the floor. Maybe your right hand presses in to the left knee. Sitting upright and twisting toward the left here. Take a moment and notice your right glute. See if you can soften a little bit. You can continue to stay upright here or maybe lean over toward the left side. Maybe you can even come down to your forearms for a second. That's not necessary. So just work with it where you're at. This should hopefully feel kind of like a cow pose to that pigeon. All right. And now we are about halfway set up into the other side here. So, um, 
if you're sitting up on props, maybe going ahead and sitting on up. The left shin um, is in front. Go ahead and straighten that right leg out behind you. It's always nice to check over that right shoulder and just kind of straighten out the right leg behind you. We'll walk the hands or the blocks up. So we're in that nice upright position, feeling the front of the right hip, that hip flexor area there. You can stay upright or move on into a variation of your choosing. When you lower your way down, sometimes it's called sleeping pigeon. One-legged pigeon pose in Sanskrit is one of my favorites to say. Ekapada Rajakapotasana. <laughs> Ekapada Rajakapotasana. <laughs> One-legged pigeon pose. Get into the zone here with your breath. We've got 10 more breaths here. See if you can extend the exhale and try not to worry about which breath you're on or how much longer is left. I will mind the time. Just about three more breaths. When you're ready, starting to wake your way back up, removing props and then sitting down onto that left glute. Bring the right leg up and around like you're sitting cross-legged and then unfold that left leg. So the right shin is in front this time. The left shin is off to the left side. We're twisting to the right, reaching that right arm and maybe resting the left hand on your right knee, twisting toward the right. Checking in with that left glute, softening a little bit there. And either staying upright with it or maybe kind of leaning into the side. If you like to kind of move with it, maybe you lift and lower with your breath. Go ahead and unwind. Let your legs come out in front of you. Uh, one little balancing pose here, cosmic egg. We're bending the knees, feet are on the floor here, holding onto the knees or shins or behind the thighs. Straighten up the spine and slightly lean back, picking up one foot and then maybe the other, coming to this balancing position just behind the sitting bones. Be careful not to let your back round too much. We want to keep puffing the chest up here. It's a lot of work, but this is great for our balancing, uh, supporting muscles, stabilizing muscles. If you want to amp it up, you could let go with the hands or maybe wobble yourself intentionally a little bit. We're eventually going to end up coming down to your back here. So... You might make your way there slowly or quickly. You could add on any other core engagement moves you'd like here or 
go ahead and settle on into your back. Once you get there, just enjoying the relief. And then we'll bring the knees in toward the chest one more time, rolling some massaging pressure around the low back and sacrum. If there are any last poses or stretches you'd like to move through, go right ahead. When you're ready, we're going to set up a supine cobbler's pose. So you might grab a pillow. You'll want both of your blocks if you have them or, um, you know, two pillows or blankets. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. Even if you have very open hips and you don't feel that you need the support of the blocks, we're still gonna use them just so that your body has that extra, extra like knowing that even if you relaxed too far, your, your knees wouldn't open out too wide. Something cozy, making adjustments. You might find that it feels nice to interlace your fingers and rest your head in your hands. Maybe giving your neck a little bit of a massage with your thumbs or what have you. Maybe taking those goalpost arms, opening up through the chest a little more. Keep adjusting till you feel right. And Creating a little more space between your eyebrows by letting everything relax. You could circle your eyes a couple of times and just kind of notice all of those ocular muscles around each eye. And releasing any clenching or holding of the jaw or of your teeth. <clears throat> you might run your tongue around each row of teeth, massaging your gums. Bringing that relaxing awareness to your neck, <clears throat> to your collarbones and shoulders, the shoulder joints and the shoulder blades, the biceps and triceps of the upper arms, your elbows, and lower arms, right wrist, left wrist, left hand, right hand, each and every fingertip on both hands. Scanning up to the shoulders, back to the center of the chest, to the sternum, down and around each rib cage, each rib bone and the rib cage, the stomach, the torso, all together. Right hip, left hip, right thigh, left thigh, left knee right knee, both calves together, both ankles together, soles of your feet, 
each and every toe on her feet. <clears throat> the right half of your body, the left half, the side that's facing up, and the side that's pressing into the floor or mat, sensing the inside of your body. And the outside, just beyond your physical boundaries of your skin. Resting your awareness now at the center of your heart, heart center. As if you're breathing and being from this space the seat of compassion. With each breath, just clearing away any clutter, any unnecessary distractions. Sorting everything back out there. Each breath helping you to come into balance, even just a little bit closer. Back into the rhythms of you, the rhythms of the day, the rhythms of the season. And when you're ready to reawaken, let's do so with a little gentle wiggle of fingers and toes. Maybe letting your head rock from side to side. Eventually helping your knees back up to center. Maybe yawning or swallowing. Let your legs go long. Reach into a long body stretch. We'll eventually roll onto either side, pausing in the fetal position for a breath or two. Eventually, using your arms to help press your way to a seat. Keeping your eyes closed if that suits you or just kind of softening your gaze. Once again, joining hands there in front of the heart center. Om Bolo Shri Satguru Bhagavan Ki Jai. The greatest teacher of them all lies within. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Bringing thumbs up to third eye center now. Let's seal in our class with a little bow forward together now. Peace. Thank you, everyone.